Hello and welcome to some Xfinity Racing here at Darlington. It is week 13 and this is also unofficial racing. Um, the idea behind it, we're going to be testing some more of the Oval Refresh. So Darlington, of course, very tough. Um, I don't think there's much else you can do other than run the normal line in 1 and 2. However, I think in 3 and 4, we could end up seeing some different stuff going on. As well, oh, well, I was going to watch somebody run through there so I could have have it for illustration purposes, but uh, 3 and 4, I think, could be a place we see some different stuff going on. If everybody's running the high line through 3 and 4, maybe that bottom lane will start hooking up a bit better. But uh, if we've got guys running on both top and bottom equally, then, well, it's going to heat up equally. So it will all depend on where everyone's running on how that works out. I think last time at Charlotte I learned that uh, even if like the high line starts working pretty well, feeling faster, you're still going to burn your tires up. So we're going to have to keep that in mind. Just kind of green trying flag, to learn okay, how this is going to work. And uh, this qualifying is going to be very, very important because on cold tires, this thing is very delicate it will want to spin on you real easy. So, I think this first lap is almost a wash here as we get tires up to temp. Then the second lap, hopefully, we'll get ourselves a good run to the line and have a little more grip that we can use. Qualifying going to be very important here because I can almost guarantee you there's going to be wrecking on lap one. And while I concentrate, uh, there are no cautions, so uh, having to check up for a wreck that I can again almost guarantee you will happen on lap one will be bad. So hopefully we got a good lap here. I don't think it was groundbreaking. In fact, I probably underdrove it quite a bit. But uh, hopefully we get something decent. Hey, right now that's pole, but plenty more times coming in, I know for sure. Um, I'm hoping just to be in front of enough guys that we can race and not have to check up real bad. You know, like ARCA racing. You get stuck in the back and have to dodge something, well, you just lost the, the lead pack. So, hopefully that uh, qualifying run's good for us. And uh, this is real difficult, but man, I love Darlington. What an absolute joy to race here every time. Incredibly difficult, but that is the fun of it. Gotta practice, gotta know what the car's gonna do and try to react to it. And there's a reason that in real life, even the professionals always seem to leave with a streak on the side of their car. The guys that live and breathe racing still have trouble. huge challenge here in Darlington, so we will try our best to keep it steady. And I think I'm feeling pretty good. I've run a lot of laps at Darlington um, in various races over time. Because again, just love it here. So, right now our time not looking so bad. Hard to tell like what I rating guys are at um, here in an unranked race. But uh, according to Race Lab, which just disappeared for some reason. Hello? Race Lab? Lab of Races? Where are you? It just disappeared on me. Hold on, let me see if I can get that to come back up. I want to say it was like 2.6 or something, strength of field. 2.6k, obviously. <laughs> That'd be pretty bad if it was 2.6. My Race Lab just crashed right when I was talking about it. You can't see it anyway, but I like having that information. And uh, we're waiting anyway, so I'm going to try to bring that back up. I'll restart it, restart the program. But I think the strength of field was like 2.6k. And, uh, you know, that's decent enough. Fixed setup, of course. 
And uh, that was something I had to get used to at Charlotte because I was used to uh, setups having a bit more turn in them. And that setup was so tight. And I overdrove it quite a bit. Why isn't my race lab working? I uh, restarted it and it's still not coming up. How could you do this to me, race lab? Huh. That's weird. I might have to update it. Or something. So. Alright, we'll go without it. I won't know, like, the safety ratings of uh, the guys around me, but... That's the end of the session. You're on pole. Well done. That's alright. Hey, we got the pole. We got it by 10th, too. That's not bad at all. I love to see that because not only am I going to be in front of everybody, but I'll be able to run the line how I want to, hopefully, and uh, maybe get a bit of a jump and even get single file, and it would be, uh, it's very treacherous these first couple of laps when the tires are cold. Having to do that side by side is just that much more difficult, so. The estimated SOF is... There it is, yeah. I was right, 2.6 estimated. There you got 2687, to be exact. DNF today would hurt our points a lot. No idea what points he's talking about, but thank you, crew chief. Uh, I guess, uh, I don't know if we'll worry about fast repair. I think if we crash, we're just, we're gonna say, uh, our car's broken. <laughs> it's unofficial, so it doesn't really matter. We'll take the realistic approach and uh, not have a backup car that we can bring out onto track. We'll just say I uh, got a concussion and have to leave <laughs> if I crash. Sorry, I, I broke both my pinky toes and now I can't race anymore. It was a targeted attack. So we'll see. It's gonna be interesting to see if we can uh, find any differences with the oval refresh in three and four um, it might be hard for me to tell where everybody's running but we'll have session last lap up and maybe once we get later in the race we can start experimenting higher line three and four lower three and four see which one works maybe for the even kind of switches back and forth it'll be tough and uh, I think it's gonna be tough to know for sure how the oval refresh is doing until we get like a full season done or longer because uh, there's so many factors that go into this stuff like you know maybe uh, it's just the rubber being put on the track that's causing the speed differences maybe it's just I'm not hitting one line as good as I'm hitting another line there's two so there's so many things to think about and consider I'm gonna do second gear star, I think. I feel like we'd get to the limiter a little bit too quick. I'm pretty sure restart zones are on for this, so we will have to wait until green to go. So maybe it will be a little bit harder for us to get the jump we need. I gotta be real careful through one and two, especially out of two. It really wants to pitch sideways if I kind of go through um, the exit too low. So if I can get a good angle on that, that'll be important. But we're leading them off here. Be ready. Are restart zones enabled? Maybe not. We get a good enough jump though. Get out front here. Alright, that felt good. They're almost definitely wrecking right now. I would be shocked if they weren't. We're gonna ease through three and four. Try to save the tires a little bit. Hey, maybe they made it. Massive credit to them if they did. I don't know if I would have survived. I probably would have wrecked it in the middle of a field. In the middle of the field with the, these cold tires the way they are. Cannot be understated how 
sketchy <laughs> this thing is. Alright, we're gonna kinda exit low. I think that'll be a good way to treat the tires through there. I've been kind of leaving just a tiny bit of throttle in it as I lift off for, uh, whoa, turn one, as I got loose there. Because I've noticed whenever I lift completely off the throttle, it wants to pitch sideways on me. So keeping it stable with a tiny bit of throttle has been working for me, even if I have to lift off a little sooner to slow it down. Wood, that guy's going faster behind us, but that's okay. 50 laps of uninterrupted racing here. So tires are definitely going to come into play. Got half a second lead right now. Trying not to push too hard. Kind of get a two, two, uh, or four tire slide heading into turn one there. Once you get a few laps in, you got to be careful about that. It's very easy to slide up into the wall. Guy behind's catching a little bit, but I'm okay with the pace I'm running right now. We'll see if those guys fall off at all. And uh, hey, it looks like maybe they're battling a little bit, so that'll give us some room back as well. is looking pretty fast. I think he got around the guy behind us, and now he is on his way in our direction. gotten past the cold tire stage, I feel like. It's good news, we've survived that. Starting on pole, I think, really helped out with that issue. Really trying to push up into the wall now. I've got to be careful on entry there. so difficult to save tires here. I don't even really have any good tips other than maybe put that brake bias back. I got mine at 57 and that's mainly for turn 3 on entry so you can turn get some turn in with the brakes rather than turning the steering wheel because I guess you don't really even use brakes into one. You might have to later in the run, I'm not sure yet but I haven't been yet uh, up until this point. Entered a little bit hard there. We're okay though. Keeping an eye on that gap behind us. We got 0.7 right now. I'm sure we're smooth, not bouncing off any walls. Hit the brakes. Trying to stay ahead of what the car needs from me. Hit the brakes more into turn three. Pretty much every time around. As the grip goes down pretty quick.
That feels good so far. It's getting tighter, but nothing too unusual from what you would expect running Darlington. It's good news. Now behind is catching, I think. Used a little bit of break there. I don't know if I needed to, but it made me feel more comfortable as the car gets tighter. Okay, had to stay on the brakes a little bit longer. Really got to slow it down at this point. I can prevent hitting the wall even once this race. That'll do great things for us, I think. Prevent some damage and prevents that chunk of time that gets lost anytime you do it. It all adds up, especially in a race without cautions. Speaking of, this race has been very clean as far as I can tell from where I'm sitting. I haven't seen pretty much any lap cars that we've come up on that have damage, so it seems like they're having a pretty clean race. Now, unfortunately, I can't really tell where guys are running in 3 and 4, so I can't really tell you if Oval Refresh is doing anything. The captain, Rogers, behind is now 0.8. But so so far so good. We're 15 laps in. I kind of went a little bit lower there, and it seemed like I got some speed out of it. Oh boy, it's doing that four-tire slide. It really wants to go toward that wall. It's like it's got a huge magnet on the wall trying to grab me in. Let's try uh, entering lower this time, see how that feels. Don't get quite the runoff, but it didn't feel so bad. Probably gonna continue using just the tiniest bit of brake into one. Whoa! Carried a little bit too much speed through there, and that's what got me sideways. You really are driving this thing on a razor's edge. That lap was a I will say, with how much last week's setup for this uh, series just absolutely oh, plowed, um, I like how much turn we've got in this one. It's uh, not quite as tight, that's for sure. The in fact, I would call it loose. Which I really enjoy. I like being able to actually uh, drive the thing. and uh, have to do the counter steer and all that fun stuff. Pretty fun car to drive around here if you're up for the challenge. Be interesting to see what my tires end up looking like. Uh oh, something happened to the guy behind. He lost several tenths. Might have been a wall hit. That thing you can't do that everybody does. <laughs> I'm sure I'm, I'm still uh, due for one before the end of this thing. Not unlikely.
Kind of have to be gentle on the throttle exiting too as well because you can pitch sideways. Kind of happened to me earlier already. We got two seconds behind us now. Something happened to the guy in second. That was a 32.0. Okay, That's unfortunate. Good consistency. Keep it up. That's not a very good corner. I needed to be closer to the wall there to get a better angle on two. Oh, look at that. I kind of went down lower there in three and four, and there was a lot of grip. Can I blame that on over refresh? Can I do a little bit of confirmation bias up in here? <laughs> we got any confirmation bias in the chat? I don't know. We'll try going low and low again, though. We'll see what, how that feels. So cut it down here. Make sure we're breaking enough, because that angle's going to make us push up to the ward the wall even higher. Alright, this guy's going to try to drive past us and ruin the line I was trying to take. Clear inside. I don't know if he's going to want to pass or what. I don't know what he's doing. thought he was trying to pass for a minute, and so I was kind of starting to lift off for him, and then he decided he wasn't going to do it. That was kind of some time given up for no reason, but that's fine. I think there's some grip down there. If you keep it low out of four. I think a lot of people are probably running higher up the track. Who knows, maybe that's allowing a uh, lower line to work a lot better. Is this lap car really going to pass me out of two? For real? Still there, hold your line. Couldn't have picked a better time to try that, man. Jesus. It's unofficial. I'm not going to get too upset about it, but that was not a very smart decision. If you just, like, wait to do it <laughs> straight away or something, like, get behind me, could have done that so much better. You lost us, like, two seconds doing that. All right, it's fine. It's fine. Unofficial. Who cares? I'm just having fun. Coming up on halfway here. Alright, coming up on halfway. Car still feels pretty good. Your last lap time was at 32.3. Tighter, but very drivable. Kind of getting a little bit yeah, loose on throttle, too, so I'm having to keep up with that as well. I tell you, I swear that lower line in 3 and 4 has got more grip than it usually does. I've run this combo before, I don't remember it ever quite feeling so fast later to run like that. We'll uh, compare it... Uh, uh, we'll compare it here by running higher up the track again. Get the run off. I don't know, man. I think maybe there's something to it. wasn't very fast. I think I maybe overdrove it a little bit. Got pretty daring with the wall there.
Seven seems to be catching us. We gave up a lot of time with that lap car, Good unfortunately, and that might end up hurting us. So we would have a lot more gap to work with right now otherwise. Almost into the wall. Careful now. We got 19 laps to go. Gotta be real patient on the throttle here. Looks like the seven's probably gonna come past us. He's got better tires. It would seem. We might fight it, depending on how many laps we have left by the time he gets here. But uh, if we've still got a lot of laps to go, and he ends up getting alongside us, I think our best option would be to let it happen. We're just going to lose more spots if we uh, fight it out with him in what will almost definitely be a losing battle for us. Ooh, loose through two. out of four. This car's very, very loose all of a sudden. Yeah, anytime I touch the throttle, it's starting to pitch sideways. That car stopped on the back stretch. That clears up. Falling off a little bit too much, I think. We have ended up using some break into one. Slides too much toward the wall, otherwise. You gotta just completely run that low line. That feels so odd, but it actually is working. And I swear to you, it never would have worked in the past. That feels like a new thing. Just entering low and staying low. If we turn three and four, that feels like something I haven't done before. Too much of the apron there. We're okay though. Stuttering. My frames are going down. I would prefer that not happen at such a difficult track. I prefer that not happen at all, but especially not here. So he's got it down to three tenths behind us with 12 to go. Drifting into one. Why are my frames so bad all of a sudden? Someone wrecked somewhere and my CPU is like, what are you doing, man? He's slowly reeling us in. Mm -hmm. 
See, sometimes I can just hit this bottom line down there, and it's got so much grip. I gained on him right there, even though I think he's got better tires. Great job. Ten to go. Oh my god, turn one is getting really scary. Consistency. Keep it up. Oh, I cut down too early. That was a horrible one and two. We're close enough to the end of this thing. I'm gonna fight if he tries to make a pass. Unofficial racing anyway, I gotta have some fun, right? Gonna get a run out of four, I think. Maybe not so much. Alright, let's get a better run through here this time. Alright, that was better. That feels like oval refresh to me, I swear. I keep saying it, but I think it's because it's true. I, I swear there's more grip down there at the bottom. And it's helping me get through there. You can see it on the session last lap. When I get some green through there. Look at that, that's awesome. I think no one's running that low in three and four. And the track's cooler right there. I swear. You've just done a thirty-two point four. Okay, almost pushed up into the wall. Doesn't have quite enough of a run to make a move on us. He's gonna push his nose out there. Shoot, I don't know if I pushed him up into the wall or what. I'm just holding on. Kind of tough spot to put me in, putting your nose out there on the exit, and the car's driving like this. Five to go. He is right on our bumper. Five laps to go. Keep it up. We're in a great spot. Okay, we are in a great spot. Oh boy, it's basically turning for me as I go through one and two. There we go. We hit that grip strip down there at the bottom. He's still got better tires than us though, I think, and he got a great run through there. Whoa, I'm fighting the wheel so hard. Follows us into the corner. Three to go. It's putting a lot of pressure on us. That was a thirty-two point five. Hitching sideways. It's all over my rear end and it's getting me loose. As if I weren't enough already. Oh no, we got the wiggle on the throttle, I think. Two more, let's go. Come on, Colton, two to go. Stay focused, we can win this. It's so hard when he keeps getting his nose out there on my outside. One more lap to win. Oh boy, one more lap. 
He's so much faster right now. One more lap. Your P1. Your lap time was 32.6. He's making a move. We got a three wide move. Who's this guy? Inside. He's a lap car, that's what guess. Still there at the bottom. Clear. What? Why is he in a, interfering with our Inside. race? You've got wheel damage. Oh Clear. my god, that was crazy. <laughs> well done, Colton. Great win. You deserve that today. You won. You deserve that win. Well done. Good race, man. Sorry if I pinched you a little hard a couple of times. This thing was out of control. Good, that was a lot of fun, man. Good race. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got into the wall in the last okay, lap. Great, good race there, uh, Brian. <laughs> we got the win. We, we slammed the wall in three and four. I thought we were done when that happened. But uh, <laughs> we did a little bit of Ross Chastain, I guess. Bounced it off. Look at that final lap there. I just saw the one coming out of nowhere. I'm like, holy cow, who is this guy? And uh, I had to change my line at the last second. I ended up bouncing off the wall those final two turns. I, the one car came out of nowhere, and I was originally going to cut down, but then he was there, and I overdrove it. <laughs> That was kind of crazy. So he was coming out. I don't know why he decided he was going to involve our, himself in our race in the final corner for the win, but... See, I was planning to take the lower line, and all of a sudden he was there, so I'm like not prepared to have to take a lane up. That almost got it for him, but he just couldn't quite get the uh, run. Pretty wild finish there. <laughs> that was lots of fun. And uh, that low line in 3 and 4, I feel like that was... Uh, really working when it normally wouldn't. Pretty good stuff. Oh, let me check my tires. 55-48, so definitely on the rear. Wow, look at our left sides. 84-56 on the left rear. That's pretty wild. That was definitely getting us sideways, I have to imagine. So let's see what happened in terms of incidents. We had some blinking right here, and 12 didn't see him, I assume. So he gets into the back of him. 19, heading toward the wall. We're going to get a lot of wall hits, aren't we? Might have to skip ahead a little bit. Some guys are hitting it a lot. Like 19 there, having some issues. 13's going to get it. Drives in a little bit too hard. That's real cool. He's, uh, he's sporting code still counts here. In case anyone doesn't know, even if it's unofficial racing, you can't just be doing that stuff. I know that's kind of like, <laughs> that's kind of going like to the community casual softball game and start yelling about balls and strikes, but <laughs> I mean, I guess so long as you're not affecting anyone's race, oh well, but Still, like, I'm trying my best here. Have a good race, and that's what makes it fun. Like, we had that, uh, we had a great battle to the end of this thing because we were trying our best. But some more wall hits. We're going to skip ahead a little faster since I don't expect wall hits to turn into much else. We'll see uh, maybe when we got some guys next to each other, see if that turns into anything more significant. One flying through. 
13 looks like they're calling it. Ooh, side by side into one. That's very difficult to do. Big hit right there on the exit. More wall hits. One's going to fly into the wall. Whoa, 33 getting that loose on throttle. And then loose on throttle through the middle of one and two. I felt like I almost did that a couple times. He did that from fourth, too. That's a bummer. He was in second for a while. I remember seeing the 33 behind us. Which I said this in the in the other one, but it's cool seeing big numbers like this. Like, we can have our 36 on the car. We got 33s. Like, you never see numbers that big, usually. Since everything's ranked by I-rating, but... Cool to see a different variety of car numbers out on the track. Like the 66, who's taking the chicane down the back stretch. <laughs> Moving along. Actually, pretty clean race, it seems like. Just a bunch of wall hits for the most part. It's a very well run race, I would think, with how difficult this was. Heck, I wish it counted. <laughs> We'd get some, well, we would stay even on safety rating because we got the 0x, but we'd win the race and get some I rating. That would have been neat. It's looking like just a bunch of wall hits. We're near the end of this thing. Lap 48 out of 50. Oh, here's something maybe. 28's going for a slider and he's just entering way too hard. He almost gets it slowed down. They're having quite the battle right here. 66 is not turning, though. Oh, <laughs> they are bouncing all over each other. There's that again. Just almost feels impossible to race side by side with this car through one and two. Huge challenge. And then there's us in the final. In the final corner. Again, I'm just like. You know what, he's got a big run here, I gotta be prepared. I think he wanted to cut low, but the one just gets in the way, which... A bummer, he had no reason to do that. I think that would have been a fun finish if the 7 could have cut low. And uh, given us a run on the inside, instead he has to back out, I overdrive there, because I'm thinking like, oh, I don't think the one's gonna get to me. Maybe I can still cut down low, and that indecisiveness made me overdrive it. Pitch it sideways. And, uh... Thankfully, we're able to hold on to it. Seven's not quite able to get it. It's cut down out of the corner, and we get the win after bouncing it off the wall. So, that will do it for this unofficial race. Um, everything went pretty well for us. Very good run to the, uh, the seven. Good racing with him. Hey, the... Wait, we, were we the one? No, we were 36. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say. Um, so, Seven was racing everybody pretty well, it looks like. So, shout out to him. Good racing with him. And uh, I guess we'll look at the race results. See uh, fastest lap and all that good stuff before we wrap it up here. So, this is what we've got. Strength of field, 26.87. Nothing uh, nothing rewarded here, but we can take a look at like some of the I ratings and stuff. The 7. Uh, 2398. And uh, he might have been the fastest guy in the, on the track at the end of this thing. So very good run to him. He beats out uh, another 5,000 I rating guy there in third. And uh, look how clean it was for Darlington. Zero X's all the way down to... 13th, and those are just some 2x's probably from the wall. In fact, no 4x's through the whole field. That was remarkably clean. So shout out to the everybody in this race. That was fantastic. The 33 gets the fastest lap, but we saw as he uh, got it uh, sideways, spun it out. So our fastest lap time, 30.4. So guy behind had a faster one. And uh, the rest of your field here.
So, thank you for watching. That was a fun race. I had a lot of fun with that. And uh, we even got some evidence, maybe, of some dynamic track. That bottom line coming in in 3 and 4 the, here at Darlington. Maybe we can come back and look in, uh, at uh, one of those times where we were running down low. Definitely think the 7 had uh, a faster car. But I feel like this part of the track was cooler. Maybe even something to do with, like, you see the rubber being put down here, so you got darker track, which means more heat. You got lighter track down here. Almost like being able to run down here, you got cooler track. Better exit. And so that was kind of neutralizing the, uh, the runoff he would get from running the high line on exit. So, very interesting. I'm liking, uh, what I'm seeing here out of the refresh. Still could be placebo, but I, uh... I don't know. That felt pretty cool. So, thanks for watching. That'll do it for this one. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.